What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to add SSL to your GitHub Pages website. There's a couple things you're going to need. Uh, the main thing you're going to need is a Cloudflare account. And aside from a Cloudflare account, you're also going to want to have your uh, website on GitHub Pages obviously because that's what we're doing in this tutorial. So in Cloudflare, if you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't, make one and then uh, resume this tutorial. So once you go ahead and you get logged in, what you're going to do first is come up here and click Add Site. And then what you're going to need to do is go ahead and type in your domain name. So I'm using this domain today to show you how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. And if you have more than one domain you want to scan, you can separate it with a comma. So once you put it in, you're going to hit begin scan and this will take just a moment. All right. So now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and click continue setup. And then you just got to go ahead and make sure all your DNS settings here in Cloudflare match what you have on your domain registrar. Uh, and in my DNS settings down here, You'll see I have an A record that points to this IP address and this IP address along with a C name. Um, and this match is exactly here. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And now this is how you get this for free. You basically just come up here and you click this free website just like that. And go ahead and click continue again. Now what you're going to have to do is change your name servers and that's very easy. I use uh, Google domains to do this, uh, to host all my, um, well, most of my domains. So we're going to come up here and click use custom name servers. And then you need to go ahead and add a couple. So it's telling us to remove the last two that were originally there. And it wants us to replace the first two with these. So we're going to click this, add another one. And let's just go ahead and copy paste this just like that all right so that's pretty much all we need to do there now the next thing we're going to need to do is come back over to a cloudflare and click continue again all right so now it's setting up okay uh we've got the name server set we've all we've got this all set up pretty much uh it's ready to go the only thing you're going to want to do is where this says flexible, uh, it's probably going to say full for you because I've done this before, but you're going to want to make sure it says flexible. So you're, if it is full, change it to flexible. If it's flexible, you're good. And you're just going to need to wait to be able to access um, your website over HTTPS. So if I were to come over here and if we looked up the Midnight Exchange, this is the uh, website I have it pointing to at the moment. It's just a old project of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can access it underneath the HTTPS protocol. Not yet. So we're just going to go ahead, give it a minute, wait and come back when this is ready. Okay. So we're still not able to access this over HTTPS just yet, but that's just because I haven't waited long enough. But I need to go ahead and finish recording this video so I can head on out and do some work. So what we're going to do next is we need to come over to our uh, repository here. And because this is hosted with GitHub, it uses Jekyll because that is what GitHub runs on. So we are going to need to, if we don't already have a uh, under, underscore config.yaml, we're going to need to create one. So we're just going to create a new file here and let's see, name our file. It's going to be underscore config dot YML. And inside of here, we're just going to add two lines. So we're going to write URL. Uh, it's going to be HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash. And then it's going to be the URL of your website so for me it's the midnightexchange.com for you it'll be whatever url you have all right so the next thing we're going to do on the next line we're going to write enforce underscore ssl and we're going to write our uh url without the protocol so it's just going to be the midnight 
exchange.com for me and again it'll be whatever your url is so we'll come down here and commit new file and you'll see right here is our file that we made and there are the two lines of code that we wrote in it the next thing we're going to want to add to do is in the head of any of our pages so for this one it's just going to be our index page um I'm just I'm just editing all of this in the GitHub website because I don't want to download the project right now and have to push it back up. So we're just editing it within GitHub right now. Uh, but basically, what you would want to do is on any of your pages, you're going to write this um, tag in the head. So you're going to write um, link uh, rel equals C A N O N I C A L. And you're just going to write the href. And you can close this tag. And inside the href, you would write site.url and page.url in curly braces and so if you're using Jekyll what this will do when it processes everything is it will basically take your URL and then it'll take the path to whatever page you're on and it'll put it in place of this right here but because even even though this is hosted on github and it uses jekyll i'm not running jekyll so i'm gonna go ahead and just put the url and the page url in right here so this is the index page so it's just going to be the midnight exchange.com just like that and then we can come down here and we can save and well, we can commit the changes. So the next thing you're going to want to do, you're really going to want to wait when you do this uh, for this to be accessible over the HTTPS protocol. It takes some time, time which I don't have right this second to wait and show you later. So don't do this until you can access your website over HTTPS because it's not gonna allow your website to show up. But basically what this is going to do is, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a script and put it in the head of our website that whenever someone goes to the website, if they're not accessing it on HTTPS, it's going to redirect them to the HTTPS version. So I'm gonna click edit again and we're gonna write, let's just write it just beneath Actually, no, let's write this up at the top. All right, so in our head tag, we're going to write the script right now. So it's going to be script type equals text forward slash Java script. And we can close it off. And then what we're gonna do inside of here is we're gonna write var space host space equals and then in quotation marks, you're going to write the URL to your website. So this is going to be, for me, it's the midnightexchange.com and then a semicolon after that. And then beneath here, we are going to write the script real quick. So it's gonna be if uh, host equals equals window dot location dot uh, host um, and window dot location dot protocol does not equal HTTPS colon, then we will tell it to change the protocol to HTTPS. So we're just gonna write window 
yeah, window dot location dot protocol equals HTTPS and we're gonna end it with a semicolon and let's go ahead and commit these changes and see if this works. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when I load this website on just an HTTP protocol. All right, so what happened was when it searched, that script ran and it went ahead and changed this here. And the only reason we're not seeing the website right now is because it just hasn't uh, served it over HTTPS just yet. And Cloudflare will do that. It does take time. It says it can take up to 24 hours for that to work. So make sure it's working and make sure your website is accessible over HTTPS before you go ahead and add this script in because once you add the script in, it will automatically redirect them to an HTTPS protocol, whether or not the site is actually there. So like I said, just go ahead and make sure you wait the time out, uh, make sure it's available over HTTPS, and then go ahead and add that script. So that is how you add HTTPS to your website. Trust me, it will work. Uh, if there is an issue with like your style sheets or any links you have, uh, you're gonna wanna, head, wanna, wanna go ahead and take a look at it. And if you have the link to your style sheet as HTTP colon forward slash forward slash then the path to your style sheet or whatever it is you got, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get rid of that protocol. So get rid of the HTTP colon or the HTTPS colon and just uh, append it with forward slash forward slash and then the rest of your path to your uh, style sheet. That will fix any issues of uh, it using the wrong protocol. It will use whichever protocol is accessible. So that's going to be it for today. I hope this helped you. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next video.